Dunbar! Now this is where it's gonna get interesting. They're gonna have to get it out of their system. No, Dunbar! Ah! Back, buddy. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Customers Advice and welcome back to our channel. Hanging out with our pretty buckskin filly right here. Of course, she's about to be one year old coming uh, this June. Can't wait, still got a long way to go for this girl, but very excited about it. We got her tied up for a special occasion today. We're gonna be doing some serious bison ranching today. And uh, something special for us, uh, Marissa's here with me today. If you guys don't already know, Dunbar, where it all started, is here at the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch, AKA Ponderosa. He is here along with Big Joe and Haas. Things are gonna get interesting. I don't know how it's gonna go. We've got some things to work out, but we're very excited. We've been working really hard on the fence here lately to get it all ready to let the bison out again and uh, into some new pasture where we did the burn unit. So without further ado, we're gonna go show you Dunbar, check on him, get ready for him to meet Haas without a fence between them, without a panel between them for the first time and uh, Dunbar's new ladies. We're gonna do all that today. We gotta get Big Joe up so they don't meet and fight. We have our work cut out for us today, so it's time to uh, get it going and uh, let some bison out today and Dunbar meet his new herd. So. Okay, so how this is gonna go is it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. We have to keep almost a pasture or a corral in between Big Joe and Dunbar. So how this is gonna work is we have to isolate Dunbar and Okay, so I had to shut you off really quick because Dunbar and these four cows that we brought over from a mom and Kevin's, the original place, um, they just walked into this uh, pen we built, this temporary holding pen that we used to actually work the bison. This, they went from here down our alley um, and was pushed with the skid steer that Jerry was driving the skid steer and had our uh, hydraulic pusher on the front. So. They just came in here and this was what I wanted. So the, the trick is, is we have to get Big Joe to come up from uh, his herd. He's got 11 females with him and then there's babies out there in that pasture. So Big Joe is getting these four females, um, but he's been with these mamas before, no big deal. But Dunbar is going out into this pasture and we have to get them moved because of the way our, the land is laid out, the way our pastures are laid out on this front straight 80. We've gotta get Dunbar out of a couple pastures away before we can let Big Joe out. Because if we let Dunbar in with Haas, Big Joe and Dunbar will be able to touch nose to nose and that's not what we want. So. We've got, I know this may be confusing. We have our own sort of strategy that we've came up with here. And so we're gonna attempt to do that with Marissa and I. Uh, I got them caught where I need them, but I gotta get these four cows out. And then we're gonna put Dunbar with Haas. But we gotta get Big Joe up too. So it's kind of a convoluted mess, but the goal here is to keep Dunbar and Big Joe from touching nose to nose. Once we let Dunbar in with the Haas herd, let them do their smells, let them get used to each other for a little bit. They've already been able to touch nose to nose, but they have not physically been in the pasture together. You ready to get to work? Okay, she's good to go. Let's go get Big Joe. There's some babies. Here he comes.
Come on, Big Joe. Come on, buddy. Now this is where it's gonna get interesting. You're gonna have to take this. Come on, Big Joe. Come on, Big Joe. Peaches, get, get. Come on. We pull out some. Okay, we got him. Hey, come back and get me if you would, please. All right. Well, we got we got Big Joe and. Peaches and 32, so it's all right. Yeah, what's next? <laughs> okay, so Marissa and I got Big Joe up and uh, Texas Mama came with him and uh, Peaches came with him. So they're in the trap. And then we've got Big Joe pinned up actually right now. So the next thing is it's time to get Dunbar cut loose and he's going out to the hoss herd um, is, the, is the idea here. This is gonna get a little tricky here because we got four mamas and things are getting wound up a little bit. So we've gotta get Dunbar cut loose. These four mamas are going with Big Joe. So, and then Dunbar is going straight out there through that gate right there. All right, let's uh, attempt and see how this goes. Dunbar, get back. Hey, hey, get back, buddy. Get. No, Dunbar. Ah! Back, buddy. Keep stepping. Poop. Slick. Shoot, get back. There we go. Come on, Cal. All right. Come here, buddy. Hand me the drone real whenever you can.
first thing he did is he went straight to where the Big Joe herd females are, which is right here, because he's lived with some of them, even though this is a, a Texas cow, and some there's some new smells for him that he's not smell. He's not paying any attention to the two-year-old Haas group. He hadn't paid any hardly any attention to Haas either. Some testosterone going on here. I'm not sure. It's interesting. Yeah, so this is a Texas cow. He came straight towards this Big Joe herd that Big Joe herd has been in with these females and hadn't paid really any attention to two-year-olds. So there's some females in this group that Dunbar uh, grew up with, like Bell Star, Peaches, that were at the OG at Mom and Kevin's place. He just stormed straight over there to them, the adult cows. This is why we had to pin Big Joe up separately from his calves and the original family was because they'd have been able to touch nose to nose right here. So we're just gonna let them be, give them a little bit of time, acclimate to each other, and then we're gonna try to move them here in just a little bit so we can get Big Joe back to his family in pasture too. We got Dunbar and the ladies sorted out. Ladies went into the front pen. Dunbar went out with the Haas herd. They mixed and mingled. Um, now we're gonna try to get the Haas and Dunbar herd moved from pasture one to the 40 acre paddocks and then onto the nine acre lot and then onto the 80 acres, which is the original uh, burn unit um, that we actually had them on recently and then they got relocated to uh, faster one due to uh, some unfortunate circumstances. Open up our gate! They're coming down Chickasaw Trail! Hey! 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 Um, so let's go see if we can get them to move. Okay. Well, how's Big Joe doing? Big Joe's good. He's calm. Um, a Texas cow, I think, was it just Texas? Yeah. Tag. She went in with him, which was good. I think that kind of chilled him out. Having some other you know, bison around them, I think, tends to calm them down and not get him so riled up, so. They're ready, they're going down there okay, right now. Go. And yep. then we can go let them in. Shake a bag and hope they follow. Hope so. The problem is gonna be getting them from the 40 to a smaller acreage into a bigger acreage because of the way the land's laid out. However, they've been waiting in that corner to move. They have been. Okay, let's go see, because Dunbar's going with them. Here okay. we go. See you, Purple Martins. Cora tied up to the trailer. Hey, where's Big Joe? He's in the barn hanging out. Dunbar! Hey, buddy. Come on, let's go. We shake that bag, babe, a little bit. Come on. It's clear in the back. Oh, it is? Sorry, here, I'll get it. Hey, Dunbar. Here you go, buddy. Hey. Look here. Uh. That's okay. They're ready to go. Oh, can't find it, ground it. Come on. Hey, buddy. Come on, let's go. Hey, here, this is a treat for you being a good boy. Dunbar. He's not interested, really. He's uh, watching these females. Okay, come on, buddy, let's go. Where's Haas? There he is. He's up here. You guys been behaving? There's Haas. Look at him. Come on! Oh yeah, they're pumped. They're pumped. You got the gate? Let's push it out. Oh yeah, 1507. She's ready to go. Oh, sorry. They're gonna go. We're kind of in the way, I'll back up. Is he? There he goes. Uh, he just wants to smell the matures. Yeah, I do, I guess. All right. 
Let's shut this gate if you can. On watch Dunbar here. Ah, ah, yeah. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. We do me a favor. Will you pull up, please? Yep. Uh, so now we are in the 40 acres. That wasn't very hard. Here's the difficult, here's the most difficult portion is instead of stalling them here, I want to get Big Joe back to his family out here in pasture too. I need to try to get them from the 40 to the nine, but got fresh green grass. This pasture has been, had some, a little bit of recovery time. I had had animals on it in a week. So they're going to hit that. And there's a lot of grass out here. So we'll see if we can get them to nine. They're going to have to get it out of their system. You just hope nobody gets hurt. Looks like Haas is just having fun. Dunbar's just holding his ground. Dunbar's not worried about him. He just wants to go back to the mature ladies. Hoss is coming back for more. Come on! Here's Hoss. We want him to come in. Yeah, there you go. I got it. Come over. Come on. Let's go in here. Come on, y'all. Right here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I've got to attach to me. Well, we kept them moving, but the problem was Dunbar didn't want to come. So now we're, uh, we've got the hoss herd back to, we're back to just the hoss herd now. Because uh, we couldn't get Dunbar away from the Big Joe females. We got them in the nine acres, which is where we wanted them. They followed us with the ATV and cubes, but Dunbar did not follow. He is not interested right now. He wants to be around these other mature females. So. See where Dunbar is. There he is. We're gonna try to get Dunbar over there with him. No, we don't. Come on, Dunbar. Yeah, come on, buddy. Just follow us. Woo! Come on. So Dunbar just kept pacing the fence back and forth, wanting in with the big Joe females. Well. We couldn't leave him just out here alone because we knew there was a chance that he may jump the fence to try to get in with the Big Joe females. So what I try to do here with the feed sack is try to get the females up and try to put one or two with Dunbar in the meantime while we tried to figure out a plan of how to get Dunbar with the hoss herd. In our minds, we thought, let's get a female or two with him and calm him down. Ah, back. Well, I don't like her. I just don't like we don't have anything there. Okay, so we're back to base camp here. The problem we ran into is, and I didn't, it didn't really dawn on me as part of all this stuff, is Dunbar just wants to be with the females. There's some in there, like I mentioned, that he grew up with. And he just wanted to, he just wanted to with the mature herd. So we got Big Joe and the 32 cow actually in our feed room <laughs> and uh 
Anyway, she's hanging out in there right now. But we need, we're, we're kind of having to strategize this. We need the big Joe herd of females, which there's 11 in there and babies. We need them to come up to the trap, basically up here to him, so we can get them away from Dunbar because Dunbar is hugging the fence right now and he will not leave to go from the 40 acres to the nine. The hoss herd, that original group, is caught in the nine acres because we have to go from the nine acres basically to the burn unit, to the 80 acres. So if we can stretch those females away from Dunbar, hopefully that frees Dunbar up where he'll follow us in cubes back to the hoss herd. So if we can get those females, what we did was we opened up a gate and we'll, we thought maybe they'll come up here with Big Joe um, and this 32 cal eventually. And then it draws them away from Dunbar and then it gives Dunbar a chance to figure out what's going on and we can get him distracted and heading west. But, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna let Big Joe in with the four females that we brought over here with Dunbar. If that makes any sense. There's three quapaws and Flo is in here. Three quapaws and Flo is in here. So now, we're gonna let him reunite with them after being gone for a while. And we're gonna see if the rest of the Big Joe females will come up here. It's a mess, but these are the things that we have to do to be safe so Dunbar and Big Joe do not touch nose to nose. That's what all of this is for, basically. And we can get Dunbar. Once we get Dunbar committed to the nine acres, we've got it. And then he can go out with his new females. So Big Joe is about to gain four females, and it's going to be Big Joe and 15 cows, basically, is where it's going to be. Let's lead him in here. Okay. Here he comes. Okay, that was easy. Enough. Whoa, 32. Kung Pao chicken. Is she bringing the heat or what? Yeah. Oh, tails up. Flo's just like, hmm. All right, so Big Joe's back with some claw paws. Oh yeah, look at him. Get, come on now. This poor boy, we gotta hide the story. <laughs> Girl, you're all tied up. It's time to eat now. It's time to eat. Okay, come on. I'm gonna go ahead and feed her. Okay, will you shut that, Marissa? We weren't able to get a female with him earlier, so we went back to check on the Dunbar herd, and this time we were able to get one of our young females with Dunbar. However, Dunbar just still wasn't happy. He really wanted to be with the Big Joe females. He kept pacing back and forth, but then our determination turned quickly into frustration when Dunbar pulled this. Marissa and I were doing our best to try to keep Dunbar happy and content and trying to keep him away from the big joe females but that all changed when him and the female decided to jump the fence doing everything we could within our power to keep dunbar from getting in with the big joe herd females dunbar defeated us but that's okay that's not going to stop us we're going to find a way to get dunbar to the hoss herd safely without meeting big joe again stay tuned to see if marissa and i can get Dunbar to the Haas herd with breeding season quickly approaching.